Bart, Bart, wake up. Yo, what's up? Listen, the planetarium said the universe is 13.8 billion years old, but I turned in a paper where I said million. What do you want from me? I was just wondering if you were planning on breaking into the school anytime soon. You know, like maybe tonight. Nope, not till next month. Please, I'll do your homework. Sounds like you can't even do your own homework. Ouch. Yeah, you think about that while I'm breaking you into the school. Hmm. Who's breaking into the school? Bart's just talking in his sleep. I believe that. Trust you. Good night. Oh, this door is broken. Eh, Willie keeps me posted. I keep him in the grish. <laughs> Willie's riding the red pony tonight. <laughs> Look who's got pumpkin stickers. Bart, those are for Halloween. Also Thanksgiving if there's some left over. Whoa, where has this been all my life? Come on, let's go! Okay, you fixed your stupid paper, and I scored the teacher's nicotine gum. She does that so she doesn't smell like cigarettes, you know. Yeah, and she should also get some booze gum. What's that? Maybe it's the ghost of that boy who had to climb that rope in gym until his heart exploded. <gasps> You're making that up. Am I that creative? Principal Skinner, are you living in the school? Absolutely not. And you have no proof. Seymour, why are you living here? You have a house. Thirty pizzas on the way. Thirty pizzas! I can finally send the mama back to Italy. Oh. Yeah, it's not my house, it's mother's. But after what I just found out she did, I can never go back. You know, they say it's better to talk about it, but I never will. Okay, we understand. Seriously, don't ask what it was. <laughs> are you asking? I was stretching. Then why'd you only stretch one arm? The only arm that needed stretching? Fine. I'll tell you what it was. You don't have to. Really, it's okay. We believe you. Ever since I was a kid, I, I wanted to be a drummer. In a rock band? No. Marching. I would have given all I had to be the dot on that eye. It's also called a tittle. Don't you think I know that? I did everything I could to make that band. In my application, I sent songs and choreographies. <laughs> Then the fateful day came. Son, you got a letter from Ohio State University. I'm too nervous to get up. Do you want me to read it to you? Yes. I'm sorry. You were rejected. Uh, it seems kind of thick. Well, they gave you a lot of reasons why you weren't good enough. So sad. There's more, I have to tell you. I was going to surprise Mother by papering her drawers. Then I found this. I was accepted. She lied. That's so sad. What makes this really tragic is there's also a personal handwritten letter from the Director of Admissions. Dear Seymour, I truly hope you'll accept a full scholarship to come to Ohio State. We want to make use of your brilliant formations immediately. What's that smell? I'm making spaghetti and kickballs. And in a fantastic coincidence, our current marching band director is due to retire in four years, and I can't think of a better replacement. You'll live a life at the pinnacle of Columbus society and be buried at the 50-yard line where you will witness coin tosses for all eternity. Does it get worse than that? How can it be worse than that? May I see the letter? I must say, your sympathy is a pleasant surprise. No, this is just the only college acceptance letter I'll...